We're coming down from a solar storm that was a little bit of a fizzle, and the solar flux is in the dumps again. Will it ever end? Those stories and more in the news this week. Solar activity wanes just a little bit, at least for the next couple days. We're coming down from a solar storm that didn't quite give us as much as we expected. It came from this coronal hole, which has given us some decent storms in the past. But this time, eh, I think it's beginning to die out a little bit. But the fun's not completely over, as we have another finger from that same coronal hole that's going to be rotating into the Earth strike zone here in the next three or four days. So that could give us, once again, a little bit of solar storming, probably not too strong, but it'll It'll keep us on our toes. Meanwhile, the other story is the fact that we have no active regions on the Earth-facing disk right now, and the solar flux has hit the tanks again. We're back into poor conditions. Will this ever end? Well, actually, it might. We do have an active region that's going to be rotating into Earth view here in the, probably the next three days, maybe four days. So we might get a little boost in solar flux starting then, and it will continue to boost over that next week or so and bring us back up into marginal conditions for you amateur radio operators. Switching to your M-flare threat meter, you can see the solar flux continues to be incredibly low. There is nothing going on, folks. If this were an EKG, the sun would be a corpse. We are well below the B floor. There's no flares. How could we have any flares? We don't even have any sunspots on the, on the Earth-facing disk right now. But luckily, this will change. We do have one active region that will be returning to Earth view here in the next week. So solar flux will rise just a little bit along with this X-ray flux that you see here and that means we will pop back into marginal conditions for you amateur radio operators and hopefully get you some propagation. Switching to your solar storm conditions, you can see over the past couple weeks we've really been kind of sitting at unsettled conditions. There were a couple times we actually bumped up to active conditions. This was back on the 25th due to almost getting in kind of like grazing a solar storm and some fast wind. Again on the 28th and again on the 30th, we just weren't able to keep any sustained activity going. Then things quieted down until about the 4th when we finally got hit by some decent fast wind and it was sustained. It engulfed Earth and we bumped up to minor storm conditions on the 5th. Now granted this wasn't as strong a storm as we had hoped for. We expected a moderate level storm but it did at least give us some decent aurora for a little while. I know your war photographers wanted more but now we've kind of quieted down but don't expect that to last. There's a good chance that we will bump back up to storm conditions starting around the 10th when we get hit by the fast wind from that second finger of the coronal hole. And even though this recent solar storm was a bit more of a fizzle than we really had hoped for, there still was some gorgeous aurora all over the world. Now for those people who weren't fighting heavy blankets of clouds, they got some gorgeous aurora shows, like this in Finland, and in Russia, beautiful shows in Sweden, the aurora made it down to Scotland, and Ireland. It even made it to North England. We saw aurora in places in Iceland, and then over the pond, we saw it in Manitoba, Canada, even fighting that supermoon, which was so bright. We saw it in Saskatchewan, and it even made it to the United States and was seen in Maine. So what else does the sun have in store for us this week? Well, this is Stereo A. It's our backside monitor. You can see here's Earth, here's the sun, and here's Stereo A staring at the sun from behind. And what you can see immediately is there's a lot more activity on the backside of the sun than there is on the Earth-facing disk right now. And that's really good because we have a coronal hole that's going to be bringing us some more fast wind. And there's that active region I was telling you amateur radio operators about. This active region will bring us more solar flux that could bump us back back into the marginal levels so you can enjoy some decent, hopefully, radio propagation again. And all of this is going to be happening within the next week, so it gives us all something to smile about.
Switching to your solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the coming week, we are coming down from that fast wind that we've been dealing with over the last couple days. NOAA's expecting at high latitudes to reach active conditions with about a 20% chance of a minor storm. At mid latitudes, we're only expecting unsettled conditions right now with about a 10% chance of active, maybe 15% chance of active conditions. But this should settle down over the next couple days and in through the weekend. And then at the beginning of next week, we should get that fast one from that other finger from the coronal hole, and that could bump us back up to storm conditions, possibly early in the week. Switching to your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the coming week, everything is in the green when it comes to solar flares. We don't really have any active regions. We've got a tiny one that's emerging on the Earth-facing disk right now, and it is not a, a threat for big flares. So everything remains in the green. What we do have, unfortunately, is that we've dropped back into the poor conditions for radio propagation because our solar flux levels are so low. Hopefully within the latter part of this week and into early next Next week, we'll start seeing those solar flux levels rise back into the marginal levels for you amateur radio operators as that old region rotates back into Earth view. So although the space weather this week is beginning to wane, we won't have a lull for very long. For your aurora photographers, we have another finger of a coronal hole that's going to be rotating into the Earth strike zone here in the next few days, and that could bring us some storm conditions again beginning the beginning of next week. Now we also have another coronal hole that's going to be rotating into Earth view, and that could bring us another storm probably the week following. Now regarding you amateur radio operators, we have that old act region that's going to be rotating into Earth view here in the next four days or so, and that should bump up the solar flux levels and give you a chance to get back into marginal levels for radio propagation. So we sure do have a lot to smile about, even though we are continuing to move closer to solar minimum. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.